welcome to the Triathlon Devs YouTube channel. I've had an absolute nightmare of a week, if I'm honest. The van that has been broken for about four weeks now is still broken. We thought we were getting the electrics fixed on that in the week, but the guy who came out to do it, um, he's, he's done most of it, but it just needed something else doing to it, so it meant that we can't, we can't tow the caravan um, with it, unfortunately. We did think about just chucking all the camping stuff in the car just last minute, but then Jasper here, decided to nearly die on Thursday, which was not very helpful. As you can see though, thankfully, he's made quite a good recovery. He's diabetic and he had a massive hypo on Thursday, ended up having back-to-back -back seizures. Luckily, Mark was working from home at the time, so heard all the commotion under the bed and managed to get him to the vets fairly promptly. It was a little bit touch and go, but he spent the night in the vet hospital and he's now making a really good recovery, bless him. But it was the first time with our next door neighbour looking after him since he's, he's had the diabetes and, and doing injecting his insulin. Um, so we didn't really think it was very fair asking her to do that when he just nearly popped his clogs. Um, and also he, need, he needs his blood sugars measuring really frequently as well and he doesn't like having that done. So that's, that's a bit of performance having to, to keep doing that. So we didn't think it was really very fair to do that. So what that means is that Mark and Amelia are staying here, much to Amelia's disappointment. She thought she was having three nights at the seaside this weekend, so she's really gutted that she's not going. I've just chucked the two-man tent in the car and all, all the camping gear, and I'm just going to shoot down there this afternoon and just stay overnight and come back tomorrow after the race. With the build-up that I've had, I honestly contemplated not going today. Um, it's only cost me 35 quid to enter, so I've not really lost an awful lot with it, but it's been a really stressful build-up to it. But everything's packed up in the car, I've done all the training, I've done the tapering now with it, so I thought, stuff it, I might as well get, get on and do it. Um, it's been a stre really stressful week, so either I'll do really rubbish because I'm burnt out, or I've got loads of built-up energy that I need to get rid of and I'll do really well so I don't really know which way that's going to go but yeah I'm going to head off I'm uh, going to get my hair braided and then we'll shoot up there this afternoon it's only about an hour and a quarter's drive to be honest so I'll get up there and I will catch up with you later on okay So my tent's all set up, I'm just sitting chilling, uh, it's lovely and sunny, it's about 22 degrees I think, um, so I've just been chilling by the tent doing a bit of reading, I thought I'd just come and see the alpacas. This was the main reason that I came back to this campsite, because I came here last year for, for the same race, um, and they've got these three lovely alpacas in, in the field, well not in the field, <laughs> sanctioned off, they're not just randomly roaming around the tents, um, but yeah, but I thought Amelia would love to come and see these and, and camp near these, but unfortunately she's stuck at home so she'll just have to make do with some video footage of the alpacas it's quite a small race the Keo Brig Bomber um, it's actually a quadrathon as well as a triathlon so a quadrathon is swim, bike, kayak, run so there's a standard distance and a sprint distance quadrathon and then a standard distance and a sprint distance triathlon all goes off at the same time uh, but I think last year there was only about 100 people who entered it um, in total which is a bit surprising Quadrathon obviously isn't that popular because it's actually a World Cup race. Um, but I think last year I got chatting to a guy at the sports centre today and I think only about three people came from Europe. Um, I think they were really good guys as well who knew that this was really easy <laughs> World Cup points. So they, they came down and then beat everybody else by about 20 minutes apparently. So I'm all ready for the, for the race tomorrow. I've been and driven the bike route um, this afternoon when I got here. Uh, it is a bit of a different route from last year. It was two loops last year on the bike and on the run. Um, and so they've extended the routes this year. So it's literally just one, one loop on the bike and one loop on the run. So I had a drive out to, to do the bike route. Uh, it's quite a nice route, to be honest. It's fairly flat. Um, but it is a bit notorious around here for being windy and they have forecast about 16 mile an hour winds tomorrow the weather looks perfect apart from that it's not going to be raining I think in the morning we start at half eight and I think <laughs> I thought that was an alpaca then <laughs> I felt the fence move I thought there was an alpaca about to bite me <laughs> but it's not at all um so yeah, tomorrow it is a half past eight star. I think it's going to be about 12 or 13 degrees in the morning. 
Um, so that shouldn't be too bad. It is warming up a bit, um, but hopefully shouldn't get too warm. I think it's only going to be about 17 or so tomorrow um, by the time that I finish this. But yeah, the, the 15, 16 mile an hour winds could do with dropping a little bit. But I've not checked the weather since yesterday, so you never know. Um, but yeah, so it's, it's a really nice course, to be honest. It's, if it's not windy, it's really good for a fast time, but it's a bit notorious for being windy and kind of swirling winds as well. Um, so we'll just see how that goes, to be honest. And then the run course is nice and flat as well. It just it literally goes from the leisure centre, Ancombe Leisure Centre. Um, and so they've changed that this year. It was a two-loop run last year. So it just got, goes out through some of the, the streets and then it goes down to a, um, a towpath and then just runs along the canal. So most of it's going to be run along the canal. Uh, so that should be pretty nice tomorrow. The swim is just a upstream 750 metre swim and then a downstream 750 metre swim. I've had my hair braided today as well. I've got my racing braids in. All the pros race with braids in, so I've decided that it must make you faster. So I've been to the hairdressers this morning with Amelia and we've both had a hair braided. Don't know if you can see that or not, but let's see tomorrow whether it makes me uh, race faster or not. I was looking at my time for last year. Didn't have any of the splits down for it, but I did it in two, two hours 52, I think. Um, I might have a quick look on Strava in a bit and see what I did on the different disciplines with it. Um, and then we'll see whether I can go faster this year. And then if I do, I'm gonna put it all down to the braids. And then that means I'm gonna have to get my hair braided before every single race that I do going forwards. Got a chuckle as well as the three alpacas. It's a very noisy pig. <laughs> it's quite cute. They're quite cute, the alpacas. Lorraine, if you're watching this, I know you love alpacas. You'd love it here. I think she'll come up and do the race with me next year. Hello, I got food. No. I got food. Anybody want some food? Hello. All my tent set up and sorted for tonight. Just bought the little two man one. Don't need much space for me. Got my air bed set up, got my sleeping bag, and got my pillows. Um, but yeah, I've got electric cook up, so I thought I might as well bring the kettle. Now, I have got hot dogs for tea, so I'm honestly contemplating boiling the water up in the kettle and then sticking my hot dogs in the kettle and then obviously washing it out before I make a cuppa. But yeah, we'll see how that goes. Bags all packed up and ready to go. Did a kit check earlier on. All I need to do literally is fill my water bottles up. One on the bike. Um, I've got some tailwind um, in that. I think it's caffeine tailwind. Right then, so I've got my kettle set up. Let's see how this goes. This is a classic example of how not to cook your food. So I've got my hot dogs. I'm gonna go for it and stick them in. Not quite sure I'm gonna get them out again. Not really thought that through. I promise we'll wash this out before I make a cup of coffee. This might go disastrously. Right, let me give this a go. Next to me, think I'm absolutely crackers. Right, Talking to myself, yeah. and they've spotted me cooking the sausages in the kettle, so I do feel a bit stupid, but hey ho, gotta eat my tea. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, perfect, they're red hot. Good morning, welcome to the Triathlon Deb's YouTube channel. Race day today, all right up and ready to go. So, we've got the bike all set up, shoes already on, drink on, I'm just taking one bottle of high five, uh, not high five, one bottle of Tailwind, um, which is the caffeine mix with it. Got my number on my number belt, got my helmet on, got my sunglasses. Shoes ready with some talc, 
can't quite decide if to wear socks or not. I probably won't. Um, I've got one gel that I'm going to take on the run with me because there isn't any nutrition on this run. And just one bottle of water um, and then just a spare gel in case I need it. So just waiting for Fran to arrive now. Um, and then we've got wetsuit and everything ready to go. So I've got a wetsuit, chamois cream that I need to stick on, some lube, the goggles and my hat, number 13. Unlucky for some, hopefully lucky for me. Good morning, folks. I'm Peter of, of, uh, of Red Car Triathlon uh, Club, as you can see. Uh, this is my 135th triathlon. Uh, last year, it was a milestone uh, with this particular one, the Link Squad uh, Triathlon, and this was my uh, 125th. Uh, next year I'm hoping to do, to do my 150th triathlon. So and the sport, I really enjoy the sport. The, the people, uh, everybody's great. This guy, he's uh, Kev. He's, he's done. Uh, this is his first triathlon, and everybody's been there before. Everybody and the sport. It's a great sport. People are great. You know what I mean? And it, it's great camaraderie as well. So. Definitely is. Wow. <laughs> Here was me thinking I was fairly seasoned at doing 50. <laughs> Got a long way to go yet, haven't I? <laughs> you'll, you'll get there. You'll get there. Because uh, there's a guy, uh, a, um, an American guy called James Lyle. He's done 250, which it's uh, off wow. the map for uh, us both. Us. Uh, have you been following Sean Conway at all? No, he's he's no. doing 102 Ironmans in 102 days at the minute. I think he's day wow. 48 into it or something like that, day 50 that into is, it. That so uh, that's just bonkers. But that's, yeah. Uh, that's absolutely amazing. Awesome. I mean, makes, makes us all look like couch for It does, doesn't it? Right, well, lovely to meet you and good luck with it. Thank you very I'll much. I'll see you later on. You. See you later now. Morning, Fran. How's your race prep going? <laughs> <laughs> good at all. Race just uh, give, us a squid, not squid, <laughs> give us a squidge of your tyre, Fran. Let's see the pressure in that. Hey, that's going to get you around fast. That's newly pumped, that is. I mean, I'm getting excited now, so I've worked out that I need a 13-minute head start off, Fran, off, onto the run, because she's that much faster than me. So, really, I've sabotaged her tyre, haven't I? I've just... <laughs> morning, Fran. How are you doing this morning? Better now. <laughs> Well, pink, uh, how prepared are you for this race, Fran? I'd say probably a good solid three out of ten. <laughs> <laughs> Not done any open water swimming yet. Not done any brick sessions. Uh, you've only just tried your wetsuit on for the first time <laughs> in fact you've still not zipped it up you've got the goggles work I've got my shoes you're all sorted you've now you've now got a bike where's your bike gone this one that one there isn't it yeah so you've now you've now got a tyre that actually stays up yeah and I've taken one of the numbers off so much much to my disappointment but I was hoping that was going to slow you down a little bit and uh, yeah I don't think I need slowing down on the bike I think it's the run I need slowing down on but cool yeah, I've not done any brick sessions. So. No. And I know the route as well, you see, so I've got that slight advantage, no, so I might, I might send you the wrong way. I've people so I could follow them. Yeah. <laughs> you can lose everyone and get lost. I'm good at getting lost. <laughs> awesome. So, right. Yeah. Tricky Cass. 10 10. Let's, Let's go. Let's do it. Cass. See you later. Down that way to that water. And then back and get out here on this pontoon. <laughs> Just assessing the swim. But it's nice and calm. But I need to swim on the way down on the left hand side and swim back up on the right because there's a bit of a flow down there. Get a little bit of a push. Go on, Francie, nearly there. Good girl. <laughs> 